So the beginning of this lesson starts out with circumference. And the equation for circumference, circumference, circumference is the distance around the circle. The equation is circumference equals pi times diameter. Um, for pi, we're going to use the actual pi button and then round your answer to the hundredth. So, so note, use pi, oh yeah, get out your calculators. Use pi button on the calculator and round to the hundredths on these problems. Whoa. Okay. Good. So number one, circumference of a circle with a radius of six inches. The equation for circumference, circumference equals pi times diameter. What's nice is this equation is on the reference sheet, so you don't necessarily have to have it memorized, but you need to know where to find it on here. Um, circle, C, which if you look over at the key, C stands for circumference. So circumference equals pi times diameter. They also have 2 pi r, which would be 2 times the radius times pi, which is 2 times the radius is diameter. So that's why both of those are right, but it is on the reference sheet, which is nice. Okay, so circumference equals pi times diameter. So it gives us the radius, so diameter would be double that, which is 12 inches. And then circumference equals pi times 12. And 12 times pi in the calculator, we do 12 pi equals, and you get this lovely number, which you would then round to two decimal places. So 37.70. I don't know if you remember, we did that pumpkin pie lesson at the beginning of the year where we found like the circumference of a pumpkin. The diameter, so here it's saying that the diameter is 12. If you multiply this by 3.14, it gives you the circumference. The circumference of a circle is 3.14 times the length of that diameter. So then circumference 37.70. Okay. Um, so like I said, if you, well, not like I said, but if you didn't have the equation in front of you, conceptually, you could figure out what you needed to do. Because looking at this, the diameter does look about like one third of that length around. Okay, number two, circumference of a circle with diameter of five inches. So this time they just give us the diameter. Again, same equation, pi times diameter, pi times five. Five pi is 15.71 inches. And if they were asking for the answer in terms of pi, all you would have to do is say, okay, circumference equals five pi and you're done. It's actually an easier way to answer it. Okay, next they're going to have us work backwards. They want to know the diameter of a circle if they give us the circumference is 63. Using the same equation, circumference is 63 equals pi times diameter. And then we can solve for diameter, divide both sides by pi. 63 divided by pi comes out to 20.05 feet. And you can make sure it's logical. The diameter should be about a third of your circumference. Okay, number four, radius of circle with a circumference of 28 pi. Okay, so circumference equals pi times diameter. So circumference is 28 pi equals pi times diameter. It wants to know the radius, but we're going to have to solve for diameter first. So to get d by itself, divide both sides by pi. And then pi divided by pi is just one that'll cancel over on this side as well. And diameter equals 28, which the radius would then be half of that, which is 14. Now we're going to look at arc length, which is new. Some of you may remember it from when we did that 
the placemats game. I did introduce it a little bit there. If you got that, actually all of you got that far. So you have seen it before. I'm actually teaching it a new way that I haven't taught it before and I like this way better. So we're actually gonna be setting up a ratio. So it's asking to find the arc length of AB, which is just this part right here. So for this ratio, we're gonna do the 45 degrees for that sector of the circle over the entire degrees of the circle. So it's like part over whole equals the length of this segment over the entire circumference. So the length of arc AB over circumference of the whole thing. So it's part over whole equals part over whole. Okay, so circumference, we actually have to solve for though. They gave us diameter, but they didn't give us circumference. So over to the side, just circumference equals pi times diameter. So circumference equals pi times eight, which equals 25.13. And then you can set up the ratio. So it would be 45 over 360 equals x length of arc AB over the total circumference. And then we'll use cross multiplication. 360 times x equals this times this. This comes out to this number. Divide both sides by 360 and you get x equals 3.14. And it'll be feet. Um, each question here will be a little bit different, like the variable will be in a different place. So as long as you set it up part over whole equals part over whole, we'll be good. So number six, it wants to know the measure of arc DE. So this time they're looking for this degree measure. So we'll have the degrees over 360 equals, it shows that the segment is 8.73 over circumference of the whole thing. So we have to solve for the circumference. They gave us radius. Circumference equals pi times diameter. The radius is 10, so the diameter will be 20. Pi times 20. And then once we have circumference, we can plug it into this equation. So we x degrees over 360 equals 8.73 over 62.83. And then we can use cross multiplication. Next one, number seven, same idea, just they'll be asking for a different thing each time. This time it wants the circumference. So what did they give us? They gave us 76 degrees over 360 degrees equals, this segment is 7.5 meters, and they wanna know the entire circumference, so we'll call that X. Then we can cross multiply. It's a few more steps. Let's see. So with number eight, be 260 over 360 equals part 
over the entire circumference, which they do not give us. But they're asking for radius. So what we're going to do is solve for circumference and then work backwards to find radius. So using cross multiplication, Okay, so I just found the circumference, 53.93 equals pi times the diameter, because circumference equals pi times diameter. So then I'm going to solve for diameter by dividing both sides by pi. Diameter equals this, and then radius I divide it by two to get the radius and 8.58 centimeters. Okay, so we're actually not going to do any of the problems in the back here. I'm just gonna have you, I'm gonna do 21 and 22 with you on the next page. Okay, 21 and 22 are kind of cool because they bring in yesterday's lesson and today's. So it says find the circumference of the circle represented by the given equation. Write the circumference in terms of pi. Cool. Okay, so just kind of reviewing yesterday, this is the equation of a circle. If it doesn't have x plus any number or y plus any number, then the center is at 0, 0. And this right here is the radius squared. So in this case, the radius is going to be 4. It asks us for circumference. Circumference is pi times diameter. So the diameter would then be eight. And our answer would be eight pi. It says to leave it in terms of pi. So we're done at that point. By the way, I didn't really need to find the center. I was just trying to review what we did yesterday. Then for number 22, the center here would be at negative two, three. And take the square root of 9, you get a radius of 3. Then for circumference, pi times diameter. Diameter would then be 8, I mean, sorry, 6. Diameter would be 6, double the radius, so pi times 6, which circumference is 6 pi. It says leave it in terms of pi, so we're good. Okay. So I was finishing up, actually, so I made the homework assignment this morning, but I decided I want more, wanted more of the arc length questions. So I'm putting like two more arc length questions in here and then I will assign it. So while you're logging into the computer, I'm gonna be finishing up the homework and posting it.